in talking about musical saws. I get the question a lot, what kind of bow do you use? So I brought out three kinds of bows to talk to you about. Now the first is a double bass bow, just an upright bass. It's very thick. The second is a regular violin bow, which is thinner, but as you can see, it's actually longer than the bass bow, even though the bass is a much bigger instrument. And the third I brought is a cello bow, but this is actually a child's cello bow, so a very smaller size. Let's see how they work on the saw. For whatever kind of bow that you use, and you really can use any kind of bow that you have sitting around, um, don't feel you have to go buy a new one. You want to make sure you put a lot of rosin on it. Now what the rosin does, it just increases the friction, both on a violin, a stringed instrument, or the saw. You wanna make sure there's a lot because without it, you don't have as much grab and it's harder to hit those notes. Any rosin will do, you don't need the expensive stuff. I'm gonna start with the bass bow because when I was first starting out playing the saw, and I do play the saw for a living, so you can trust me on this stuff. Um, other saw players said that this is what they loved and what they recommended. Uh, it's thicker and it's a little easier to grab. There's more surface area. It's also not as long as the violin bow, so when you do the high notes, um, you don't accidentally hit the floor or your microphone stand or something like that. Violin bow next. It's a little longer, so you have to be a little more careful of your environment. There we go. As you can see, I have hairs flying all over the place, and uh, it's not actually from the sharp side of the saw. It's just because I use them a lot and don't take the best care of them. That is a hot tip though. You don't need to buy an expensive bow, and in fact, I would suggest maybe you not especially if you're just starting out. So this one is a child's cello bow. It's actually a one quarter size cello bow. So it doesn't have a lot of surface area in the top. So some of you beginners may find it a little more challenging, but it's my favorite one to play with because of the size. It's easier to travel with. One thing you probably are noticing is that it doesn't matter if it's a long bow because saw players don't actually do continuous bowing. You just kind of just use a little bit and then you can sustain it with your knee or something so you don't really need a long one when i tour abroad i sometimes even get a smaller cello bow because it fits in a carry-on easier and i don't want to break it i love the questions thanks happy musical saw journey to you